I don't know about you, but I still remember the first time I ever heard this riff. I got the feeling that what I was hearing was something magical, rich, and unique. I quickly grabbed for my guitar and learnt this Burzum riff. It wasn't long until I discovered that what I had actually learnt, it was incorrect. To put this simple, the way you play this riff, or lick I should say, and the way I play it, it was completely wrong. As you know, you reach the truth through trial and error. Let me grab my guitar, let me play it for you. There are three key elements to learning this riff. If you actually play along with the record Philosophum, you're going to need to tune your guitar along to the record. We all know how these black metal bands were about fine tuning their instruments to a standard tuning. Yes, not so much. Now I'm going to play this lick again, but I'm going to slow it down. I want you to listen carefully to both the second and third notes of the riff. Listen to the pitch. Try and pinpoint what it is that's unique. The second key element to this phrase is the tremolo picking. You'll need to play this riff clean and precise. While the guitars may not be tuned to a perfect pitch, the playing is clean and it is flawless. What I do recommend is that you practice long to a metronome. Simply start slow for a couple of days, gradually increase your speed and this will soon become no trouble at all for you to play. Okay, back to it. These are the notes that Varg actually plays. Varg, will you take over for a second? Maybe you can hum what we are actually trying to explain here today. I'm guessing you've heard it by now. Let me show you the tab that I've created. Feel free to pause this video on the tab to take in what's being played. If you don't have it, simply come back from time to time just to refresh your memory. The third key element to this phrase, it's the open B string. So did you catch it? No one, and I mean no one, plays that note. It adds such amazing contrast to such a beautiful, beautiful melody line. If we listen to Varg hum the tune, the melody line, one more time, hopefully that helps clear things up. <laughs> After the first hummed note, you will hear the next three notes hummed are the exact same note, the exact same pitch. This clearly indicates to us that there is indeed a change of string. This simple melody line, it's truly magical. The use of that open note is genius. Let's listen to the lead passage recreated in a full mix. I've had so much fun breaking this small section of the song down for you today. If you want to know how to recreate the Burzum Philosophum guitar tone, then I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of this video to a video that I have created in the past where I do focus on that guitar tone. Philosophum is by far my favourite black metal record. If you want to hear a recreation I did of the full album, I'll also leave another link in the description. Uh, I spent a while re-recording. It sounds pretty cool, I think. So give it a listen. Let me know what you think. And I do hope you have learnt something here today. So let me know what you do think of the video. Now you've heard the open B note, you'll never be able to unhear it again. I'd love to know your thoughts on the matter. Let me know what to do in another video. Shoot me a comment below. Subscribe. See you next time.